Welcome back to another Rat Face 44 Reviews. My name is James, and today we have G.I. Joe Classified Series. David L. Bazooka, Cats and Bogan, again! So let's get this started! So before we open it up, we're going to take a look at the packaging. Um, this seems like this is kind of the transition pack packaging uh, to the new kind of black and white type of uh, packaging. Um, it's pretty much the same thing as um, the previous one. Let's do a little comparison at the beginning of the video right here. As you can see, it's the same kind of artwork on the little side tab here. It's a little bit more extended, actually, if you take a look at that. Same artwork, just he's wearing a red shirt now. <laughs> which he should have been wearing in the first place. The new one's kind of zoomed in compared to the um, the regular Tiger Force one. Same artwork, different shirt. Of course, the backing is the back of this. It's definitely different because this is the Tiger Force one. Number 62 in the line. So we have a, a nice little portrait of the figure right here. I'm not sure if that's a digital render or that's the exact figure. It's hard to say. Uh, like I said, number 62, we have the old school, now it's old school, symbols here on, on the side. I know all the new ones do have the symbols like on the, on the back also. So we have digital renders of the figure. It shows all the accessories, 6.39 inches tall. So we're going to do a comparison with the Tiger Force and my uh, Real American Hero old school Joes. We'll put them all side by side. And uh, we'll do a nice comparison. So today, we're going to go from the bottom. One piece of tape. With my trusty scalpel here. Boom. There's a figure. And here is the weapons crate. It's in this blue. Cool print. Nice kind of wear looking. Number 62. David L. Bazooka Cats and Bogan. And it looks like it's all right side up compared to the other ones are all kind of upside down and whatnot so let's take our little package of accessories dump that out so these are exact uh, accessories as we got in the tiger force one so let me know what this bane application is it looks kind of uh, red and white looks like a little mouth so i'm going to point out the differences so we have that and here we have another missile or a rocket with a yellow tip and it has this kind of black checker pattern that goes around. That is a nice little touch. The other ones are just kind of regular OD green looking. And we have his rocket launcher. Has the same thing where the you could uh, put the rockets in just like before close it up there you have it it's loaded next we have his helmet we'll have a comparison definitely with the tiger force one like i keep on saying it's in an od green and it has this kind of uh grayish black strap that goes around it and he has these unbuckled straps next he has his backpack and uh you could load uh the Rockets, it is in this uh, kind of OD green looking, has some nice kind of uh, leather texture on it, um, kind of wrinkly with a buckle, and you got these rivets. If anybody wants to take a look or check out my um, Tiger Force Bazooka uh, review, you can take a look. There's going to be a link up in the corner or at the in the bottom of the, in the description of this video. Let's uh, do a little surgery here. Take it out, load it up, boom, there we have it. So here is the figure in the cardboard prison. Let's take it out. So here is the figure. He is all kind of jumbled up. Let's fix him up, make him presentable on camera. So like I was saying, it's the exact same figure, just in a red shirt, different mold. But uh, overall, it's the same thing. Uh, so far, uh, back boots are on backwards. Uh, just like the previous ones, so I don't think the uh, factory got the memo. 
about the previous issue, kind of just turn his ankle around. Pull, you turn the shin, turn the ankle and the foot and uh, put a hair dryer to it. I wouldn't want to force it this way, just give me a moment. All right, so I've heated up the ankles and it, we should be able just to move them. Hopefully not break, because that would kind of suck. So you've seen this in real time. I just heated it up. Just make sure it's lined up properly. Seems like the uh, left one is a little bit easier to move than the right one. What I'm thinking is that they produced this figure at the same time as they did the Tiger Force one because no one even noticed. I wouldn't even notice if someone didn't make a comment down uh, on my video that the, uh, the boots were shins or whatever were backwards. Um, so that's how you do it. <laughs> so I'm not going to go over the articulation. You know, we could just check out the butterfly joints and the quality. Everything is kind of really tight right now because it seems like it hasn't been moved. Um, tightness test, a little wiggly, but not too bad. This is one of the fewer Joes that have the uh, type of diaphragm ab crunch. Um, it's really stiff. And he doesn't have much ab crunch. Uh, maybe because he's all stuck, but he does crunch like that. So that's kind of different. You know, I don't see a much uh, color difference in the elbows. The knees, let's check them out. I did heat it up just a tad, so it might be a little bit easier so to move. So that's pretty good. It doesn't seem loose or locked up. Let's check the other knee. That's yeah, pretty good. I didn't have any uh, quality control issues with the previous bazooka. Um, this is the up and down wrist, which is really cool. And the arm is really tight. Let's check the elbow. Not too bad. Tight, good, not loose. Let's check out this face sculpt. Looks good to me. Through the camera. His eyes are kind of lined up. I don't see any kind of spray over. I hear people talking about the cut in the in the uh, in the chest here with the 14. You kind of kind of just have to line it up. You know, if they got this crooked, then the body will be crooked for sure. But I don't care. And the swivel at the waist always kind of tight. Check out the lines, the white lines, and the arms look pretty good so let's load this guy up and do a comparison with the Tiger Force so let's put his helmet on it's on good backpack time always have to fix this floating belt rocket launcher There you go. He's all geared up. Just like a bazooka can. <laughs> Fix him up a little bit. So one of my gripes about this figure and the Tiger Forest figure is the little baby feet that he has. Um, I don't like that. I kind of wish his feet would be a bit bigger. Got some gappage at the boot. It, uh, it's very loose at the boot cut. Kind of have to push it in a bit to get it a little bit tighter. So I highly recommend putting this guy on a figure stand. He is top heavy. He tends to want to fall over. And I'm having a little bit of issues standing him up. So there you go. So there is a comparison with Tiger Force Bazooka. Pretty much the exact same figure with a, one with a white shirt, one with a red shirt, and obviously the Tiger Four Stripes on the... There you go. See, it's really hard to keep him stood up. I think I'm going to have to put him on the ringside collectible stand here. 
Obviously his hat, his helmet is kind of an orangey red. And uh, let's take a look at the accessories. So as you can see, the Tiger Force rocket launcher is a little bit of a darker green compared to um, the regular uh, bazooka. And the backpack is a little bit uh, in a, a lighter green than the Tiger Force version. And also the pants are definitely, uh, this one is, has a definite uh, kind of a different type of OD green. This is kind of on the bluer side. The, the belt is definitely a different color. This is uh, definitely kind of a more of a, a reddish brown compared to the, the more darker brown. So here's a quick little comparison with all the bazookas that I own. There's the old school with the new school. Really cool. Um, if you want to see my Tiger Force Bazooka review, I'll have a link in the description below. Always been wanting to do this, the hold up with the classified and the old school bazooka. Uh, it's, man, it, it's, it's pretty awesome. I, I really love the old school version. Just brings me back to my childhood. It's definitely the same scaled up in classifieds. I think this is a really cool kind of setup. You can see the differences. You see the very, very similar, but scaled up, like I keep on saying. So what do you guys think? I know a lot of people have uh, been waiting for the uh, old school version of Bazooka. They, a lot of people skipped on the Tiger Force. Um, I almost skipped out on, on this version of Bazooka. Um, I delayed on pre-ordering because I was just like, why do I need another? And of course, you know, me as a hardcore collector of classifieds, I had to get it. So big shout out to DJC Collectibles, where I get 99.9% .9 of my classified figures. Check them out. Link will be in the description below. Great guy. DJC Collectibles. Awesome. So what do you guys think? Do you, do you have this figure? Do you have, do you have the Tiger Force version? I do. So I want to appreciate all my subscribers. We just passed 500. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to check out my playlist. It's going to be at the end of the video. And also my montage. So Yo-Jo and Cobra!